news, my wonderful people, Oluremi uh, Shiwaju Ahmed Bola Tinubu, his wife, uh, finally responds to some months back, we brought you a video where she was saying Igbo people that they received and welcome into Lagos State do not love them. Uh, and uh, she, though one of her sisters is married to Igbo, but um, the Igbos are not supportive and what have you. She's come out to debunk that allegation and to reveal that Tinubu um, love Igbos. Okay, Tinubu loves Igbos and even have a daughter-in-law that is an Igbo lady that he could not possibly hate the Igbo people, you know, trying to, you know, give credit to her husband to say that, you know, Nigerians should please vote. Please don't forget to give us a thumbs up, like us, share, subscribe, as we understand where this woman is coming from. Oluremi Tinubu reacts to allegation that she does not like Igbo, reveals that even Tinubu has an Igbo daughter-in-law. Senator Oluremi Tinubu, the wife of APC presidential candidate Bola Metinubu, has openly disclosed how she feels about the Igbos following allegations that she does not like them. Why speaking to a crowd of women in an APC rally in Oware, Imo State, Oluremi said it is not true that she does not like the Igbos at all. She said, no, that is wrong. As some people have said, she disclosed that her husband's son is married to a woman who is half Igbo and that one of her sisters married and gave birth to a child for an Igbo chief in Anambra. You see, speaking further, Uluremi said she loves Igbo people so much and her best friends are even Igbo. Uluremi exact words, as she was you too. The son married an Igbo girl who is half Lebanese and half Igbo. So Ashiwaju is an in-law to an Igbo man. My sister too married an Igbo chief. Yes. Late chief Igwe Officio Anochi, the late Amobo. She has a son for him. All my best friends in school are Igbos. All these ones saying I don't like Igbo. I want, I don't like Igbo. I, I was taken to my niece. Yes. And so I love the Igbos. I said, look at all you people that I used to do a lot of things for. Now you are saying this, that. I love Igbo people. That was all I said in the video that they tried to misinterpret. My best friends are all Igbo. My mom is, is Shekiri. So I love all Nigerians. We are all mixed here. So this is what is happening, my lovely, wonderful people. Ashiwaju Ahmed Bola Tinubu's wife, you know, has come to say, uh, you know, she, you know, she, she loves Igbos, you know, she loves Igbo, and um, she they even have an Igbo in law, and what a view that all is well and all is going on well. Okay, says so she loves Igbos and that there is no issue with them and Igbos. That what she saw in that, uh, what she saw in that, uh, what she said in that video was misconstrued, and uh, some people just wanted to take it out of context. She says she does really love the Igbo people. Okay, she says she does really love the Igbo people, and that um, everything, you know, everything is going is going to be all right. That Nigerians should trust them. Okay, that Nigerians should trust them. So these are some of the things going on. These are some of the things we need to, or uh, you know, get acquainted with and understand, you know, going on, you know, right now. Oluremi Tinubu is the wife of uh, Tinubu, and um, she wants her husband, I mean, for the first time after being a senator for how many years, has stepped down from being senator because the, the next uh, position is to become the first lady. Okay, the first lady. So she has stepped down and uh, finally she has allowed somebody else to become, uh, this, you know, the senator representing, you know, the senatorial district that she has put a stronghold on. So whether you like it or not, okay, she's ready now to take the bull by the horn. And so the wife is saying, uh, yeah, that uh, we, we just need to understand that, um, you know, things are, 
we, we love the Igbos and uh, we, we want to ensure that we stand with the Igbos. So it is what it is. And so nobody should, uh, you know, think that things will just all of a sudden fall in place and everything will suddenly change, you know, because um, they love the Igbos. If you love the Igbos, that's fine. You just need to do more. Yes, just need to do more and ensure that, uh, you know, and ensure that you prove to Nigerians that you do really love them. Because if you love the people, it will show. Okay? Um, we, we, we actually think that, you know, Tinubu have to do more to convince Nigerians why he wants to be president. You know, your son can actually be the, the president rather than Tinubu for some people. You know, you can even sponsor your son rather than you if you feel that there is too many controversies surrounding who you are. However, we have not seen that come to play. Tinubu himself said it is his turn, Emilio Kong. So whether they like it or not, it's Emilio Kong. The son will rather be the son of the president, rather being, he will rather be the president rather than, rather than the father of the president. So for whatever his words, my people, uh, Mrs. Emilio Kong has tried to, you know, tell us what she feels and, um, you know, what is in her heart. And um, this is the woman communicating her heart to Nigerians saying, give us a chance. I want to be the first lady. I want to be your first lady. You know, and uh, she says she loves Nigerians. She loves everybody. She loves the whole nation and everybody should support them. Anyway, my people, you can see for yourself that um, all that is going on, these are clear indications of how things have been and what we could do differently, you know, in order for us to get to get the very desired position is for us to work and ensure that we do, humanly speaking, we do everything all right. Yes, remember, you have a voice. Remember, we are all in this together. You have a voice, okay? We just have to ensure that we come off and we come out of anything and everything that have held us down and out. If we want this change, we'll have to. We have to get it together. Everybody needs to do all that is needed and necessary for us to get to this position. Yes, please don't forget to give us a thumbs up, like us, share, subscribe. Click on the notification button so you can have all our latest news. Remember, it's up to you and I. If this change will come, we will have to be honest, determined, focused, and ready to pick it up. Okay? And ready to do everything we can to ensure that the change, you know, the change becomes what it needs to be. Please don't forget to give us a thumbs up, like us, share, subscribe. Bye for now.